Did you know that precast concrete pavers and retaining wall stones is one of the fastest growing segments of the home improvement industry? And for good reason, it's getting harder and harder to find flat lots to build on. If you've got a sloping lot like this, this may be just the solution you need. It looks great, it's durable and strong. If you want to find out how these are made so strong, let's go to Grapevine, Texas. You've got to move a lot of dirt if you want to make 18 million concrete pavers each year. That's the annual output of this factory owned by Pavestone. You also have to apply a lot of pressure if you want to make the pavers good and strong. And you have to have a precise mix of cement, water, and other raw materials called aggregate in order to make the pavers durable. This isn't ordinary concrete. Well, the different aggregates serve different functions in the finished product. Plant manager Tom Davis says four different types of aggregates are used, river sand, granite, and limestone, along with a product called fly ash. So Tom, these things are used a lot in residential applications. I know you got a lot of different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about the process, about how these are made. Why are these different than just standard bricks, or poured concrete for that matter? Well, it's, it's a combination of several different things. The, the main thing is the mix design. It's made a little bit different from poured concrete. It uses a, a, what we call a no slump mix. As you will see in the machine when it's made later, the concrete mix is very dry. It looks dry, but there's just enough water in there to activate the cements. And what we do is closely control the different type aggregates in the product via in the mixer when it goes into the mixer. And then add a certain amount of cement to it and fly ash to it, and then compress it under very high pressure. What happens is, is we get all the air pockets out of it and make a very, very dense product. When Tom says very high pressure, he's not joking. This machine is called the press and it applies 2,000 pounds per square inch to the molds. The result is a product that's more than twice as strong as poured concrete. This machine can crank out a fresh layer of pavers every 13 seconds. The entire system is automated. Computers control the raw materials mix, while machines stack and store the freshly molded pavers. They're allowed to dry for 24 hours in giant curing racks that stand nearly three stories tall. And after sufficient curing, the pavers are now ready to be shipped to the consumer. Machines even apply the plastic stretch film that protects and secures the pavers during shipping. Today they're making basic pavers you might use as stepping stones in your garden.